beautiful my name is Natalie Faye welcome to a new video if you're new please do subscribe I would really appreciate it so today's video I am gonna be just taking you through my whole new latest makeup routine that is super simple easy this is perfect for work um, it's perfect for college or if you just want to look put together but don't want to feel too heavy this is the perfect makeup look for you so if you want to learn a little bit more then please keep on watching okay, now that my hair is away from my face let's jump into today's video if i'm working from home but i still want to look nice i don't like too much of product on the face so skincare is so important guys and i am using my dr rachel vitamin c face serum i love this so much i'm almost out of it but this really does help me hydrate um, my skin especially underneath my eye as you can see my eyes are looking a bit dark and tired uh, I've been waking up so early recently because I've just had clients and I've been taking like some early appointments so my under eyes are doing okay once I do apply that then I go in with a little bit of primer I generally don't apply too much of product but I'm using the angel veil NYX primer and this is just to blur out the pores around my nose around my mouth and using my finger to do this so it feels really soft on the skin and I love how immediately it blurs out the, the pores and my skin feels super soft and light so for brows I use the NYX tinted mascara this is the color called espresso now I do go in with a paint pot first um, carve out my brows and then go in with this just to like coat the actual hairs on my brows but when I'm rushing I honestly use this I like to color in and if I can see that there's still a little bit of hair um, that's missing here and the product is not as thick I will place the product and drag and then I'll go in and feather it out to cut the brows I'm going in with the Revlon color stay and this is not like the proper cutting of brows I basically just go ahead and make sure that the end part is properly cut like this sometimes I would generally skip the step if my eyebrows are done or like freshly waxed but my eyebrows are not today so I won't even bother about going on the top I'm just making sure that the eyelid is properly coated and not even like how I would normally do like a full glam like the whole thing is not covered but this is a quick routine so I'll just go in with a brush blend out that concealer so when you're doing a quick makeup look you don't want to pay too much of emphasis on like parts that you can you know quickly get done which is mainly the eyes so I'll come back to the eyes and I'll show you how quick and easy my eyeshadow routine is um, so for the face for a work day or for a day where I'm not really wanting too much of product or makeup on my face I would generally use LA girl LA girl is one of my favorite foundations especially when I want to feel like I'm not wearing anything on my face I'll go in with the pro high definition illuminating foundation and that is in the color tan so now I don't have that shade and that foundation so I have the LA girl pro matte high definition foundation this also feels so airy so light i love it but the problem is i bought the wrong shade this is the shade called caramel so what i'll do is i'll just put a pump on my hand like that and then i'll use my tesh beauty um all about skin in the shade f330 just a dot of that and then i'll go ahead and use my nyx pro foundation mixer this is the shade white so just a dot of that you can also get the LA Girl uh, Pro Illuminating Foundation in the shade white as well. So the white foundation really does help. If you don't get your perfect shade, you can get a darker foundation to mix or you can get the white foundation to mix. So yeah, that's how I basically go ahead and mix my shade. So I mix that and I don't like to use too much of product. So I'll just mix that and then just lightly just dot that on the face. So this is medium coverage. It's not 
full on. I'm buffing out my foundation using a flat brush like this. I love using brushes recently. I feel like it makes the foundation, it just blends the foundation out so well and it looks almost like a brushed. I don't know if you guys can already see that this foundation is so natural looking. So there's a little bit more of the LA Girl foundation here. Um, it's not exactly my color still, but it is it is doable. Like I can manage with the shade of foundation and then just go in and highlight a little bit more with a lighter highlighter shade of concealer. Um, but yeah, so far I love how this foundation wears. Um, this is the mix that I just found for myself. Sometimes it's best to play around with foundations and find like the best fix for you. So at the moment, this is basically what I do. I will go heavier with certain foundations and then lighter with certain foundations, mix it together and find my perfect balance. Um, but yeah, whatever works for you, you go ahead and try it out as well. This is just currently what works for me. Um, okay, so now you can see that my foundation is on and it does look very natural. I can also like touch my face and be sure that nothing is gonna remove, like come off. So this is how it looks. You can see a little bit of my um, marks peeking through and stuff, but nothing too hectic. Before I go in and highlight my under eye, I'm gonna go and do my eyes. Using my Captivate palette by MUD, I literally just use this shade right here, guys. If I'm going out, this is the shade that I use with a fluffy brush and I apply it all over the eye. So this is almost like a, I don't know how to explain the shade. It's like a bronze, but a deep brown. And it's also like, it's shimmer. So it does have a tiny bit of shimmer to it, but it's like the perfect shade for your face and for your eyes. So this is what I use on my eyes when I'm just going out for the day or just like, um, if I need a shadow on my eyes. This is the eyeshadow that I will use. And I just go in with this eyeshadow, blend it in, and apply it throughout the eyelid. And then just blend that. And there's a beautiful natural shade on my eye. So basically that's how my eyes look. If I want a little bit more uh, depth in my eye look, I'll just go in with a brown shade. I use this shade right here from my Sparkle palette from MUD. And I might just mix it a little bit with that dark brown shade right there and just ever so lightly just place that on the outside and just deepen up the outer corner of my eye. Make sure it's nice and blended and nothing too dramatic guys so make sure you're using a light hand when you're doing this step we don't want like a super dramatic um eyeshadow look it's meant to be natural so blending on the outside and then just like applying it to the crease i'm going in with a black eyeliner i'm gonna go ahead and use this on my waterline Using my Catrice liquid liner, I'm gonna go ahead and just do my eyeliner. 
now my eyeliner for my week is a very different to what you generally would see so I basically draw a tiny wing on the outside and something more thinner and then I line just toward the halfway part of my top eyelid and this basically it's almost like I'm fading it from the outside to the inner part of my eye. Start at the outside and then you'll see it disappear on the halfway part of my eye. So I also like to look straight ahead at my mirror and then wherever my eye is, that's where I'll stop the eye line. I hope that makes sense, but let me show you exactly what I mean. Now that my eyeliner is done, I'm going to go ahead with my Tesh Beauty Concealer. This is the shade. This is the shade C290. So I'm going to go and just apply this underneath my eye right here where I have that dark circle. So right there on both sides. And then just underneath that eyeliner, I'm just going to add two neat spots right there. My forehead nose and then I have some darkness around my mouth so I'm just gonna apply it on either side of my lip and on my chin. Using the same foundation brush just to go and buff everything in and make sure when you are blending in your concealer you're not really going in with too much of pressure. You don't want to create any strokes with your bristles on your brush. So make sure you're blending very softly. So what I like to do is I like to tap in soft motions. That's how I blend. And if your blending process is taking a little bit more time, it is okay. You can just be patient. Um, you can take your time. And it also depends on your concealer that you are using. So make sure that you are applying a little at a time. So if your concealer is drying very fast and if it's a fast drying concealer, then make sure you do one side at a time. So this one isn't that fast drying. Um, it does dry, but it isn't as fast drying as some concealers that I have used in the past. So this gives me a little bit more time just to blend out. Um, the entire face without having it already set before I can blend it out. That's such a nightmare. Um, so being very cautious while I blend underneath my eye and in small stippling motions. So my camera shut off and I'm not sure where about it stopped. <laughs> so I just added in my Tesh Beauty Concealer in the shade C290. And then just went in and blending it softly not adding too much of product so this is how I placed my product so this is how the face should look um, after you have concealed and you have applied your foundation and all of that. Just to bronze up the face and set that concealer into place as well, I'm gonna use my Yardley Absolute Translucent Powder. I'm gonna add a little bit to this lid. Then I'm gonna use my Smudge Banana Powder in the color Deep and just adding a little bit of that. 
I'm going to slowly just pat this on my face and then just drag it to the rest of the face. So this basically covers the concealer and it also goes and sets that foundation into place as well. Now I have combination skin so I get oily around my T-zone um, especially during the day so if it's a super hot day then you would see the oils come out quite faster than a normal day but on a normal day I would um, just basically get oily only around my t-zone like this area right here and I think it's important to bake on a hot day <laughs> because you don't want your foundation to move so instead of baking for like the winter season what I would do is just apply the product and then just slowly dust away as I'm applying the product so I'll apply it leave it for a few seconds just after I apply it on this side I would go in and then just dust away and like not like really pushing away the product but almost setting it into the skin and then like lightly just brush it over and whatever uh, your skin wants to take it will take so um, while I'm brushing it away the skin will automatically just absorb that powder into place not adding too much of powder but just a little and as you guys can see the skin has just soaked up that powder it does look a little bit bright so give your skin some time just to allow that powder to settle in I'm gonna bronze up in the meantime whilst the powder is sitting into the skin and settling in I'm gonna go back into my Captivate palette and to bronze I use these two shades but since this one is almost gone I'm gonna go back in with the Sparkle palette and use this shade right here this is called Define so with a brush a circle small brush like that I'm just gonna apply this and then just drag that from the temples all the way down to my cheekbone and this brings a beautiful beautiful shade of color back to the face doing the same thing on the other side this automatically just brings the color back to the face I am gonna go in with some contour on my nose but in the meantime I'm just gonna go in with a second coat of this shade so this is my weekly look so I won't really go in and contour very harsh um, generally I would use this shade right here but it's like almost gone I'm gonna try and pull up some of that Okay, and yeah, this is basically how I bronze the face. I'm going in and pinching my brush with the same shade and then just drawing two lines on either sides of the nose. This is not really contouring the nose, but it is almost bringing back like some shadow to the nose and then just blending on the sides of the bridge of my nose. This makes the nose a little more slimmer and doing it this way uh, brings the color back to the face it also ties in with the browns that's going around the face so we have the same brown on the nose as well as the same brown on the cheekbone so this also really does make the entire face look more natural if you're going to use a darker brown on your nose or a darker brown on your cheekbone it basically makes the face look a little bit more um, it doesn't really tie up with the face it depends on how you're blending your shadows out so that also does play a big part but if we're going for a natural look we are going to see those browns really peek through because there's no attention to the eyes you are going to be looking at the face a lot so for a natural look we want to keep the browns in that light biscuity shade range um, so nothing harsh on the nose and nothing harsh on the cheekbone as well make sure you are blending out your nose contour and this just gives a beautiful natural shadow to the nose and 
yeah everything looks good for blush for the week i would normally go in with a light powder blush so today i'm using this mud palette as well using this light pink blush taking that on a soft brush and placing it right onto my cheekbone so the bottom of the cheekbone is where you would contour and the top of the cheekbone and first go in and place your blush and this is just going to be a beautiful way to make your face look more pulled up if you do apply your blush right here it is going to make your face more rounder and if you put it right up here almost at the end of your concealer underneath your eye um, yeah if you put it there it completely changes the way in which your face looks so it gives your face a more pulled up look everything looks more symmetrical we did the shape of the contouring in that way we did the under eye highlight in that way as well so we're going to just stick to the same motion and then just pick that blush right up here and we'll add a little bit down here on the cheek as well but make sure you are blending up to your temple so we're going to do the same thing for the other side for mascara using my favorite this is by essence this is the i heart extreme lash mascara in the waterproof mascara so just applying this to my lashes making sure i am picking it up from the roots um, especially when you're not wearing any fake eyelashes make sure that your mascara is done properly and you are feeling for the root of the lash and just brush that right then I like to go on the top of the lash and then just curl it and pull it up again so I'll go on the top curl it and then push it up back again and then I'll add a little bit to my bottom lashes not too much just a little bit and then for highlighter I started using this golden champagne shade from my sparkle palette as well and it's a very beautiful shade so I like to use this and I like a nice um, natural looking shadow for the week so just applying a little bit on my cheekbone nothing too intense um, this is a weekly makeup look so just to make sure that the skin has a little bit of that natural glow Applying that there, applying that to the tip of my nose. And tear duct. And then for my lips, going in with my favorite pencil by Smudge. This is the color medium brown. Coloring this all over my lips. sometimes for a little bit more dimension on the lips I'll go in with a dark brown and just applying this on the top so just applying this on the top of the lip and the bottom as well So went in and used a super light hand uh, just to make sure that my lips are not disappearing into my face. So if you are using a light color on your lip, you want to make sure that your lips are standing out. So I like to go in with a little bit of a darker shade. The color that you're wearing on your lip, go in with two times darker shade of the liner on your lips and you should be good to go. So you can blend it out with a eyeshadow if you want or you can use a lip liner. 
um, in this case I use a very dark brown but I like to use a very soft hand so it doesn't look very dark um, and then yeah I just blend that into my lips and I think we're done with this makeup look guys so finishing up with my next setting spray this is the dewy finish setting spray that is it for today's makeup look this is the final result i'm so happy with how it looks this is basically what i would generally wear during the week or if i want to look nice and polished a quick and simple makeup look this is it guys i didn't even wear any eyelashes but if you do have a set of eyelashes it will definitely make the look even more glamorous so this is my put together work college um weekly makeup look and if you guys would like to see more of these natural makeup looks and a variation of the eye makeup then let me know in the comments below i know a lot of you like these natural makeup looks i personally am such a fan um and i also like to play with color from time to time so let me know in the comments on what you want to see and i will definitely film it and get it up for you let me know what's your favorite foundation that you're currently wearing as well i would also like to try out some new foundations that you guys love I would like to try it out and show you guys how it wears on my skin. Yeah, I would definitely love to try it out so that every one of you can enjoy my reviews. And that is it for this makeup look, guys. I gotta get to work now, so I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!